you can write files in Python as well, so text files. So create some file and give it some name. Name it YouTube.txt. Then you'll have to specify the mode. And so there's one mode called W, which will open a file for writing, so that will overwrite. And if you want to add to a file, you'll use the A uh, character, which is short for append. Now I'll use W, then specify that you want a file object, and you can simply write text. Now I'll just show you that the file YouTube.txt doesn't exist. And if you'd run the program, it's just run, doesn't output because we don't print. And you'll see we have the file YouTube.txt. Now if you want to add to a file, you'll see that if we do this, um, it has simply replaced it, it hasn't added. And so if you want to add it, you will have to change that attribute to A, which is short for append. And then you can add lines to the file. So um, you can add anything really. So if you now run it, you'll see that it has added all of them, but on um, on the same line. Now that makes sense because we don't add new line character. So the slash n will add new lines. So now if you run it, you'll see we have several lines. And if we run it again, you'll see it simply adds to the file. So the file gets larger. You can also add write list to a file, so if you have a list of some numbers, uh, you can use a loop. Um, and then write that, so string, and don't forget the new line characters. And write every item in the list. So if you run it, You'll see it wrote every item in that list. Now, of course, this also works with uh, text items. So, if you have some list of, of uh, strings of text, um, you can run it and it will do the same thing. So, it writes that list to the file. You'll see we have the items here. So the main thing to, to keep in mind is the attributes. So if you use W, it will create a new file. It will override the existing one. And if you use A, it will add to the file.